Your smoke flaps are essential for eliminating smoke from the teepee. When the wind blows across the upper edges, it creates a partial vacuum between the two smoke flaps, pulling the smoke up and out of the teepee. The smoke flap poles are used to maneuver these so that you can put your flaps where they need to be. You see here, the smoke flap poles should only be about two feet from the back edge of the teepee. If they're longer than that, you need to cut them down some. Notice the smoke flap itself is trimmed very tightly. You must know what direction the wind is blowing from. It is essential because the smoke flaps will always be angled downwind in order to maximize the vacuum between the two flaps. The teepee door hole should always face downwind. If you're in a valley or an unusual canyon where your winds are not from the west predominantly, then be certain to set your teepee up so that the door hole faces downwind with regard to the most common wind direction that you have. Although you may not necessarily think so, there is always a breeze, even though it may be very, very faint. Now I'm going to go around the back of the teepee and set the smoke flaps in the normal position for a west wind. Again, the, the door hole should be facing east, which means the predominant winds will be from the back of the teepee. So we put the smoke flap poles tight together. We get them snug in the pockets. We move the smoke flaps themselves a little bit closer together than they were before, and we tighten them up. This is the standard position that your smoke flaps will be in about 90% of the time. If you don't have a fire in the teepee or you're not using a fire, then the smoke flaps will simply stay like this all of the time. Now we will demonstrate for you how to set the smoke flaps if the wind is from the south. In this case, from left to right. Notice that the smoke flap pole is used to keep tension on the pocket and to keep the line of the smoke flap rigid. Here I'm moving the flap on the right or the north flap out and downwind. Now notice that the smoke flaps are angled to the right and the smoke flap on the left is covering over the smoke hole so that rain or snow if it were storming from the left or from the south could not come in the smoke hole itself. But because the smoke flaps are angled and leaning far to the right, the wind coming across from left to right would create a strong vacuum between the two flaps and pull the smoke up and out of the teepee. Now we will demonstrate for you how to set your smoke flaps and smoke flap poles for a north wind or a storm from the north. Always set the poles so that there's still a rigid line on the pole and good tension in your smoke flap pocket. Notice how far around the side of the teepee I'm bringing the north smoke pole so that the smoke flap covers the smoke hole entirely. Again, keeping rain or snow from coming in the top of the teepee. When you move your smoke flap poles, you will also need to go around the front of the teepee and tighten up the smoke flap lines. Here, you see what a nice rigid line you can create with your smoke flaps by keeping your smoke flap lines taut in the front of the teepee. Once again, see how the north flap covers the smoke hole. No rain or snow can come in, but the smoke can go out. Keep your smoke flaps trimmed tightly in this direction. Now I will demonstrate for you what we would do if there were an extremely strong storm from the north or from right to left. Take your smoke flap lines and tie them tightly down and around the side of the teepee. Tie them to one of the stakes. This way your flaps are held tightly against the teepee and winds can't rip and pull at the flap. 
Notice how downwind these flaps have been angled. I'll also go around behind the teepee and move the south flap even further open. This makes certain that the smoke can get out of the teepee and have an escape route. Here you see how the flaps shingle over one another. No rain or snow can blow in and still the smoke is pulled up and out and disappears from the teepee. Now we will show you how to use your smoke flaps in the unusual case that wind comes directly from the east or blows directly into the smoke hole itself. First, both flaps are taken around back and opened out. What we're going to do is to maneuver the wind so that it, as it hits the teepee, we want to direct it upwards instead of into the smoke hole. Take the lines and tie them tightly on opposite sides of the front of the teepee. By tightening down the lower part of the flaps, we create a surface that will guide the wind up and across the smoke flaps, which creates the vacuum to draw the smoke out of the teepee. Notice how the wind then is moved upward and guided upward along the smoke flap lines. So finally, we will show you how you want to secure and close your teepee if you're leaving for a period of time. Most of the storm winds where we live in the Central Oregon High Desert come from the southwest. So I'm going to close the south flap, or the one on the left, on top of the right flap. I'll get the pole that goes to the north flap and I'll move that pole around now to the right hand side of the teepee slowly working it up and carefully working it up against the poles and against the tie rope so that it is a snug fit like pulling a sweater around your neck. Then we will take the south pole and we will bring it across the north pole and create a very snug fit around the top of the teepee. Do this carefully and gently, maintaining as snug a fit as you can around the teepee poles. Work the poles gently to make them as snug as possible. Then pull the smoke flap lines down and around the teepee and tighten them up to a tent peg. Notice again how the smoke flaps are shingled over one another to keep the weather out.